Welcome to the channel Future Millionaires. I'm Mike the Investor and even though you may have an investment that don't turn out exactly how you want doesn't mean we cannot become millionaires and today I'm going to share with you how the BTT token went from a great investment to one of my worst investments in 2021 and I'm going to be sharing with you how exactly that happened in this video now before we get all personal and stuff i want to take a brief second to talk to you about one of the partners on the channel which is i trust capital one of the top crypto ira platforms in the space today so using i trust capital not only can you purchase precious metals but you can also purchase cryptocurrencies 24 7 365 and there's also no monthly fee that you have to worry about even if you're not investing that particular month. Now, when it comes to who they use for their institutional grade crypto custody, they use some of the top providers in the space today, Coinbase Custody and Fireblocks. So you may be wondering what cryptocurrencies can we purchase on iTrust Capital? As you can see here on the screen, pretty much some of the top cryptocurrencies in the space today. So if you would like to check out iTrust Capital for yourself, and this is your first time, you can gain $100 free in Bitcoin while being able to save on your capital gain taxes. Just click the link in the description below. No promo code needed. But now that we got the intro out of the way, let's go ahead and briefly just look at the BTT price chart before we dive into all of the meat and potatoes of this video right after this. All right, investors, so as you know, I started talking about the BTT token back in February of 2021, way before the run-up actually happened, is where I actually purchased BTT back in February at a tenth of a penny, 0 .001. And I'm also gonna show you in later video I did showing my actual average price, you know, on this as well. Now, I made two major mistakes with BTT. However, I did say this was a long-term hold, and also I said I didn't invest anything I wasn't willing to lose. Let's take a brief second on what I said on some of the first couple of videos I did with BTT. So this was the first video I did on BTT, and this is what really got people noticed to who I was, and a lot of people started you know, buying into BTT at this time. Now, take a look at what I said. You can see I got reasons down here, but as you can see, I didn't invest anything I wasn't willing to lose but take a listen to what i said and you never want to invest more than what you can lose now i don't think this is going to happen but if my bitcoin uh, position was to go to completely zero dollars it would not break the bank for me i will still be okay i will still be able to keep investing like normal so this is not financial advice but if i go to the second video i did on btt now you can see I have a total of 2 million tokens. Now I have increased it. As you can see from the previous video, I had a total of 500,000 tokens and I've increased it by 1.5 million. Now let me fast forward just a little bit. It should be right about here. So take a listen to this. Like any other investment. So I am comfortable with losing this money if everything happened to just go down to zero, which I definitely think that's not going to happen with this investment. Now, as you can see, I didn't invest anything I wasn't willing to lose. And if it was to just go to zero, I'm okay with that. However, sometimes you need to change your plans along the way. Let's briefly take a look at the price chart, you know, for BTT. So let's go back over to the price chart here. This is BTT, the new price chart. And as you can see, the token supply is definitely increased. It went from 990 billion to 990 trillion now if we look at the old btt price chart you can see here's the 990 billion total supply now i've done a ton of videos on why they changed the supply and all of that good stuff so definitely check it out and one quick question real quick i get as well is when btt talks about we have burned the old token they are referring to the btt old token that deals with the old use cases so this has nothing to do with the new btt token all right so i just want to make that clear now let's kind of get into the personal things kind of the two mistakes i actually made now the first mistake was when it reached an all-time high in april i should have just took profits right i invested in february i put in about 2000 just being transparent and i turned that into 20k now i took some profits off the top however i should have just took all of those profits and the reason why i say that is this brings me to the second mistake that i personally made 
I held through the redenomination, whereas I should have sold. However, this was a long-term hold for me, so I didn't want to sell because I was just riding the wave. But if I knew this was going to happen, I would have took profits back in April and then wouldn't have been able to buy back in at a lower price. And I'm gonna briefly just kind of show you the tremendous amount of supply that's been added, right? I bought 2 million tokens for around uh, $2,000. And now look at how much a million tokens actually cost. So this is the BitTorrent chain. And if you look at my total rewards to be claimed, only $2.38, but this is equivalent to 1.2 million BTT tokens because they increased the supply so much and you can see I only have a little over a hundred dollars actually staked which is about 59 million tokens all right so as we can see over the course of a year things have changed dramatically for the BTT token and if I would have known once again they were going to do a BTT redenomination before April hit I would have took profits then however we don't know what's going to happen even when you do your due diligence things can happen unexpectedly and nothing is ever guaranteed and so you win some you lose some now just to my defense if we go back to early 2020 in april i started talking about my first cryptocurrency and it was my first cryptocurrency video which was the brave browser basic attention token and at that time it was around 17 to 18 cents which today you will still be up on your investment. If we go later into 2020, I started talking about Ethereum Classic when it was around five to six dollars. And we seen how that did during the peak and you'll still be up on your investment today. If we look at 2021, where I talked about BTT a lot, but I also called Solana around 29 to 30 bucks. We also saw what Solana did. So you win some, you lose some. However, the idea is, is to always make more money then you actually lose so with all that being said sometimes you can get it wrong and i think the biggest mistake i did was not selling before the actual redenomination because i was still actually up prior to the market tanking more and then the redenomination happening and so if i would have just sold before the redenomination i would have still been in a little bit better position but the big thing would have been if i would have just took profits at the all-time high back in april which i also told multiple of you to do if this wasn't a long-term hold for you however i was looking at this as long term but sometimes you just have to take profit so if you haven't learned anything from this video when you see something run up like that take profits all right so if you gain some value from this video do me a favor smash the like button really helps out the channel but that is all i got for you i will see you on the next one